Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Lincoln View High School, where tonight we have the Wayne Trace Raiders taking on the Lincoln View Lancers in high school softball action. I'm Dave Bowen, and beside me this evening will be Mr. Mark Shine. The Wayne Trace Raiders bring a record of 1-0 in into tonight's contest, a 12-0 victory over Audeville. Lincoln View... 0-2, oh but don't let that deceive you. Those two losses are to Wapak, 13-12, and Minster, 4-3, games in which both, both games in which Lincoln View was ahead in going into the seventh inning, and it came up short in the final frame. Our starting lineup this evening is brought to you by Red Oak Realty, today's starting lineup. When you are ready to buy or sell, start with the team at Red Oak Realty. For the Raiders, again, with that 1-0 and zero record, they bring to their lineup starting senior Macy Doster, the shortstop. Ava Zartman, a junior, plays second base. In the three-hole, it'll be the catcher, Katie Slade. She's a junior. In the cleanup spot, playing third base, junior Paige Albert. In the fifth spot, your pitcher in the circle, Logan Bland, a junior. In center field and batting six, Katie Anna Bombley, in the seventh hole, playing left field, a junior, Allison Schilt. Batting eighth for the Raiders, playing first base, Allison Noggle, a sophomore. And completing the starting lineup for Wayne Trace, a senior, number four, Laura Thornell, playing right field. For the Lancers, again with that 0-2 record, leading off, senior, playing center field, number five, Michaela Jackman. Batting second in the circle, a junior, number 14, Taylor Post. Batting third in left field, Addie Stevens, a junior. Batting fourth in the cleanup spot, playing first base, Braxton Sherrick. Batting fifth, Laney Spear, your shortstop, and she's a freshman. We'll complete this lineup as we get things started. Uh, side by side with Mr. Mark Shine, and here we go. The first pitch is a strike behind the plate. Mr. Steve Trout on the bases, Mr. Mark Keller. Batting six for Lincoln View, Sydney Fackler at third base. In the seventh spot, second baseman Allie Miller. We see our next pitch by post. Up and away, one and one's your count. Batting eighth and catching Grace Brickner and completing the lineup for Lincoln View in right field, Emerson Walker. Mark, it's great to have you side by side as we see a shot to center field, and there's Michaela Jackman reeling that in for the first out of the inning. Really good to be here, Dave. I know uh, congratulations to Greg Leith and uh, the coaching staff here, Eric Schwab. They were able to put this game together, kind of a last-minute thing. They were scheduled to play Coldwater. Coldwater with some injuries and illness didn't have enough players, and so Wayne Trace was found on the schedule, and uh, it's really good to have them here and a chance to play this one. Yeah, great to be here. Beautiful weather out here, 66 degrees, our game time temperature with this game starting right at about 5.03 p.m. As the first pitch by post is a strike against Ava Zartman. Behind the plate today, Steve Trout and on the, uh, the bases today, we Mark Keller, little veteran umpires. I know Wayne Trace was really excited to get this game in as well with only having one game uh, in thus far, so Again, it worked out for everybody, except unfortunately Coldwater yes. unable to play. Would have really liked to have been able to see them as well this evening. The Wendell girl, I've not seen her play. The reigning MAC player of the year. Wayne Trace is scheduled to play them tomorrow. A swinging bunt, and Zartman is going to beat that one out. So with one out in the inning, Zartman reaches safely, give her an infield single. And that brings to the plate the catcher, number 20, junior, Katie Slade, a first team GMC selection. Katie's okay, the catcher today. Taylor Post in the circle. She's been pitching for the Lancers since her freshman year. Took them all the way to the state championship game last year where they fail to fell to perennial power Strasburg Franklin three to two shot up the middle nice play by the freshman at oh shortstop gosh. for Lincoln view none other than Laney Spear touches the bag goes to first that retires the side three batters up three down with a single sandwiched in there 
nothing for Wayne Trace in the top of the first. You're watching high school softball on WOSN. It's time to spring to life with WOSN and TV 44. Our annual spring funding campaign is underway now. Please partner with us by giving a financial donation in any amount. Our campaign goal is $50,000 by Mother's Day. Donate online or at WTLW.com forward slash donate. In the circle for Wayne Trace, none other than Logan Bland. She's a second team. And they kind of had spring baseball and softball figured out here last year, didn't they? Yeah. Baseball team, another trip to the state championship game, and of course softball going the same distance. You know, Dave, she's only pitched two innings this year. You know, their their win was a, a run rule game, and they kind of spread the pitching out. So here we are, April third, and hasn't had a chance to really get much work on the mound. Jackman drives that one up the middle. That's going to be a solid single. Nice piece of hitting right there. Working the count full. Pitch was up a bit. Had a good swing on it. Always like to see that leadoff hitter on. And with nobody out, Taylor posts your batter. Let's see if Coach Schwab, the 2022 Northwest Conference Coach of the Year, decides to play small ball or let's post attack it. She does square up. There's a steal attempt, and Jackman's going to slide in two seconds safely. It is a strike on post, as she did attempt to get that ball down. Unable to do so, but gives, give the steal to Jackman. Runner on second, nobody out. Taylor Post, 571 on the season. Short sample size after two mm. games, but that's a great way to start. Bunts that one down the right line the first baseline goes foul so I wondered if coach Schwab was going to keep the bun on with the 0-2 count now I think he'll take it off and let post look to drive the ball got him nice pitch by Bland to set post down first out of the bottom of the first inning a swinging strikeout for Taylor Post Swing right through the pitch. That'll bring up Addie Stevens, a 333 hitter. Second team, or excuse me, second team Northwest Conference selection is Addie Stevens. Takes that first pitch for a ball. Real big out here for the Raider defense with Jackman out there at second base with one out. That's a nice pitch on the outside corner as Steve Trout brings up the strike, evens the count at one on one. What do you think about the bunt here, Mark? We've got the third baseman. I think, I think we let this one hit. I mean, we got a runner in scoring position. Third base is playing even with the bag as they are at first. This would be a good chance to drive one and see if you can get an early uh, run one lead. Uh, a sack button, you get thrown out. Now you got two outs and a sack. Well, a fly ball doesn't do any good anyway, so. Good play. Nice play down there at third base by Paige Albert to retire Stevens for the second out of the inning. 
Jackman does move up on the play to make it a productive out. So with two outs, brings up your cleanup hitter, first baseman and second team Northwest Conference selection, Braxton Sherrick. Good piece of base running by Jackman. Waited until the ball was thrown across the diamond and made it over to third. Good breaking ball. Nice pitch right there to get ahead in the count by Logan Bland. Off the end of the bat and right there at second base is Ava Zartman. She reels it, at, reels it in for the third out of the inning. For Lincoln View in the bottom of the first. No runs. They had one hit. There were no errors. One runner left on base after one complete on the Charles River Tonight's scoreboard, zero to zero. You're watching High School Softball on WOSN. here at Lincoln View High School at the top of the second where for Wayne Trace it'll be four, five, and six. Paige Albert, Logan Bland, and Katiana Bombley. Our scoreboard is presented by Charles River in Spencerville. The premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio is expanding. Learn more and apply today at jobs.criver.com. Good swing there by Paige Albert. Evens the count up at one and one. She had a nice play there. Mm, the thinking of the, the same first. thing. Had a real nice defensive play. Second out of the inning. Pitches away. A little tail on that pitch. Yeah, breaking ball went outside. Yeah. Nice hold there by Albert. Albert that drives would look that out. one. That one's deep. And hello, Jupiter. Paige Albert with the solo shot here in the top of the second. She's going to touch all of them, Mark. She got a pitch that was up and just drove it out past our, our center field camera person after Lexi Waddle. That was a no-doubter. Post left that one over the plate. And Paige Albert, the junior, does what the number four hitter should do, make solid contact. And Wayne Trace takes the lead here in the top of the second. That's going to bring up our pitcher, Logan Bland, the second team GMC selection. In her junior year, Taylor Post with the pitch. Taylor Post's ERA coming into today was 3.40. She did not have a, a win or a loss on the season. I believe she started both games thus far. This would be game number three in the circle at the beginning, but did not finish either of the first two contests, again, against Wapak and Minster. And you look at the schedule that hmm. Lincoln View is playing. They are, they are not playing the sisters of the poor. They're coming out, guns a blazing. There's a shot. Another nice piece of hitting by the number five hitter, Logan Bland, and she singles right to the left of the shortstop, Laney Spear, and with nobody out and one run across, Bland is on first, and that brings Katiana Bombley, your first baseman, to the plate. But that schedule for the Lancers, Wapak, Minster, originally Coldwater tonight. Wayne Trace, a solid program, takes their place. And tomorrow, oh, let's play Parkway. <laughs> yeah. All those things that prepare you for competition in league. No doubt about that. Their league play actually begins on the 6th when they go to Ada. Talking about the Lancers. No small ball there from Wayne Trace, but the throw goes awry. So Bland, or excuse me, Bombley reaches safely on the air and 
Bland moves up to third. So runners on the corners with nobody out. Coach Amber Showalter in her seventh year leading the Wayne Trace program, flashing the signs down there to her left fielder at the plate, Allison Schilt, a junior. I wouldn't be surprised if we see some small ball here, Mark. Squares Showing up to Black, yep. Takes second base without a throw. And that was the purpose of that square mm -hmm. up, just to allow the runner to advance. It looks like maybe Coach Shulwater took everything off as she wiped everything down, down there with the signals. We'll see. Playing for a big inning now. That one's going to go to the first baseman, and Braxton Sherry takes care of Allison Schiltz pop up. So that's the first out of the inning. And that brings number 10, first baseman Allison Noggle to the plate with runners on second and third. I think you're exactly right, Mark. Going to play for the big inning. It's early in the game. Why? No need to waste an out right now. Runners on second and third. They've made solid contact they in have. this inning. Noggle misses right there, but gets a good cut at the pitch well, by the, the only thing you look at if, if the, the squeeze is on because you're down at the bottom of the order. Other than that, I think that they want to play, play big inning here. There There's you go. Fun. Nicely done up front. It's a safety squeeze, and here comes the play at the plate. Good play. And I'm not so sure that the runner on first, they're going to talk about it, and because he may have pulled her foot. But no, okay. they get the out, but she's going to pick up an RBI as Bland scores and Allison Noggle, that goes one to three for the second out of the inning. Really heads up base running by Logan Bland. Yes. Got down the line far enough that she couldn't pick her off back at third, and yet was close enough that she was able to score when the throw went across the diamond. Excellent execution there by the Raiders. Perfect bunt. Lincoln View does a nice job of getting it out, but a run does score on the play. Back to post in the circle. Takes care of the number nine hitter, Laura Thornell, but not until the Raiders pick up two runs in the top of the second. We'll go to the bottom where it'll be four, five, and six for the Lancers. We'll be back with that action here on WOSN. We're back here at Lincoln View High School, and in the top of the second, the Raiders, they pick up two runs on two hits. There was one error and one runner left on base. We'll see if Lincoln View can counter here with four, five, and six. And in the four hole, it's Braxton Sherrick, the second team NWC recipient from last year and your first baseman. I think this is Laney Spear has stepped in. Braxton popped out to end the inning. Thank you very much. Yeah. I appreciate that. The reason why I know that is I look at the scoreboard at 2 0. Laney Spear has two home runs on the season. Okay. So I'm sure she'd like to make solid contact right here and count goes to 3 0. Thanks for picking me up, partner. You're right. Laney Spear, your shortstop, the newcomer in the starting lineup for the Lancers as a freshman. And she's worked the count, as you said, uh, as we said, 3-0. And she's going to take that base on balls. Exactly what you want. Good medicine if you're a Lancer fan. Get that leadoff runner on. Well, a week ago when we were working together, I had the wrong team batting. <laughs> so, so we're even up now. It's early. It it's is. Early. Yeah. You'll probably have to pick me up about four more times <laughs> in this game, Mark, but I appreciate the opportunity. So Sydney Fackler's your batter now, your third baseman. Let's see if she squares up. She does. Takes the pitch. It's low and away. Well, you get a 2-0 lead. You'd like to come in right away and throw strikes, get outs. Um, walking in the, the leadoff batter, I'm sure that's not what coach wanted to do. Great point, Mark. Great point. Let's see if the Raiders can dig out of it or if the Lancers are able to execute and get Laney Spear to second base here. Of course, Logan ran the bases last inning. Uh, made a couple of nice uh, plays to get herself into scoring position and then to score. So maybe a uh, little legs getting them going here. 
offered that, didn't she? Yes, she, she did. did. Yeah. yeah, Steve Trout says that she did, and it's his opinion that counts the most. <laughs> yeah, not <One> ours. <laughs> yeah. One and two, your count now on Sydney Backlund. Of course, the baseball team here at Lincoln View is playing. Well, I'm a senior right next door. The fields are adjacent, and multiple people watching both games. And if, yeah, don't. Yeah, you could call both of them at the same time, Martin. I'm, no, no, I'm no, 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 I'm, I'm just gawking around here yeah, a little bit. So, I like Bland's velocity on her, yes. on her pitches. Now she's she's struggling a little bit here, as we said. She walked. Spear to start the inning, and now Fackler's worked it to a full count. Bland steps behind the circle and gets back on the rubber, refocuses. I thought that was a good pitch. Yes, comes right at her, yep. gets the called strikeout for the first out of the inning. Regroup there, did a nice job, comes back with a solid pitch to get the out. Your batter now, number two, your second baseman, sophomore, Allie Miller. One out in the inning. She had three strikeouts in the two innings she's pitched. That one smoked. Sure is. There's a drive to left field. Bounces off the fence. The Raiders get it in quickly. Going to have a play at the plate. And she's safe. Super nice base runner. Play. Yeah, great, great base running. As Laney Spear took off with the pitch right away, comes around and scores all the way from first base. And Allie Miller give her a double. She would have had that double even on the throw going home because the ball was all the way to the fence. Give her the RBI. And with one out, your batter is now your catcher. Number nine, sophomore Grace Brickner. Now those were two really good throws. Good pickup out by the fence. Two good throws into the shortstop and the shortstop home. Just not quite enough to get there to the speedy runner. You're exactly right. Katie Anna Bomley hustled over there, relayed it into Macy Do D Doster, and then just not enough to get to the plate before the runner. And again, good execution all the way around, but the run scores. So 0 and 2, Bland comes right back, firing strikes against Brickner. Gets her on the called, or I'm sorry, on the swinging strikeout. So with two outs, both of the strikeout variety, your right fielder, sophomore number 12, Emerson Walker, in the batter's box. That had a little break to it right there. Goes off the plate. One and oh, your count. Nice hold by Emerson Walker. Mm -hmm. Good pitch. Yeah, comes back on the outer third of the plate for the strike. One and one count. RBI sitting out there at second if Walker can get a hold of one. Two and one your count. In the two innings that Logan Bland pitched in their opening game against Ottoville, didn't give up a hit or a run, had three strikeouts and a walk. Nice pitch right there. Nice cut by Walker. And I think you hit the nail on the head, Mark. In that first game, they jumped out a, ahead of Audeville, and that gave uh, Coach Showalter, Showalter a chance to put some other girls in the circle. She has a pretty good feel for what she has with Logan Bland. Got to find out what else you've got uh, on the table here as the early part of the season unfolds. There's a ball off the end of the bat. Trickles foul. Little cue ball action, spun down the first baseline and kicked out of bounds. So it's twos across, two balls, two strikes, two outs. Late swing, good pitch. Yeah, Emerson Walker battling in there. Just what you want to see your nine hole hitter do and a young player as a sophomore, Emerson Walker, doing a nice job battling. Land will come right back at her, I believe, right here, Mark. Goes outside, tries to get her to chase, doesn't do so. Real good discipline at bat by Emerson Walker. He wouldn't want to walk the uh, the number nine hole hitter. Bring Michaela Jackman up to the plate. And singled at her first appearance. Going to be 
be a tough play. And she's safe. Walker hits it hard. Going to have an air on the second baseman. And she doesn't walk, but she does reach safely. And that does bring the leadoff hitter for Lincoln View, Michaela Jackman, to the plate with two on, on the corners, and two out. The second baseman Zartman did a good job of getting back to the ball. It was hit kind of some top spin to it and kicked away from her, but she made a good effort, just couldn't quite get it there in time. Yeah, Emerson Walker with good wheels, adding to second or to first base, and then now she steals second. A little play there by mm. the Raiders, a play on going to the sh second baseman in front of the bag. Heads up base ring though by Allie Miller. Not get picked off of third in that situation or try to force the issue at home. Didn't bite at all. So Jacqueline gets a good cut right there but finds herself down 0-2 now. Got to be a little more defensive at the plate. Look to make contact. Anything that you can put in play just might be able to work its way through and bring a run or two around for the Lancers. Here we go. Does make contact. Nice play by the shortstop, Macy Doster, and that retires the side. Six to three in your scorebook for the third out. But the Lancers, they pick up one run in the bottom of the second. I believe they do that on one hit. There were there was one air and two runners left on base. After two complete, Wayne Trace two, Lincoln View one here on WOSN. go to the top of the third inning and we go to the top of the lineup for the Raiders. It'll be Doster, Zuckman, and Slade. First three batters. Doster flew out to center fielder or center field her first at back and at bat center fielder Michaela Jackman takes that first pitch for a ball. And I think that was very important Dave for Lincoln View to get a run last inning. They were down 2-0. Uh, you know, they're, they're a team that has 0-2 on the season with two difficult losses to put some number on uh, put a number on the board. I think it was very important for them. Absolutely, Mark. Any way that you can get that momentum swung back a little bit or stifle it as the Raiders had put two in the top of the second inning on the board. Allows Taylor Post to get out there and fire some BBs as she does right there. Wow, what wheels. Yes, excellent job by Doster. You want that leadoff hitter to have some wheels. She does it right there. That's got to be an infield single. It does. Played correctly by the Lancers, Lane, Laney Spear. Probably needed to charge it a little bit harder, but unfortunately unable to do so. And we have a runner on first base, the leadoff hitter for the Raiders. That brings Ava Zartman to the plate. That, was, that was two hard hops. Here's a butt play. That was two hard hops, Dave, and she still couldn't get a wing it across the field. That, that Just good wheels, I think. Yeah. That's why you got your, your leadoff hitter in that spot. First team all-conference player a year ago. Very athletic shortstop. So with one strike, we'll see if Coach Showwater stays with the small ball action with the bun, or she allows Zartman to swing away on a pitch in the strike zone. She squares up, and she does put it down. Good bun. Nicely done. Nicely yep. played defensively. Doster going to go all the way to the third. She does, and she's going to end up scoring on the play. So the Raiders with some pressure offense with the bunt, the sacrifice by Zartman, one to three in your scorebook. But Doster, as she hit second base, she just rounded it and was heading towards third because there wasn't a defensive player there immediately. And then the throw goes awry. So there's an error on the play, allowing Doster to score. And Right away, the first pitch hitting by number 20, Katie Slade, your catcher, puts another base runner on the bags for the Raiders. Well, conversely, uh, Dave, you know, you, you give up a run. It's now a 2-1 game, and what do you do to get the momentum back? You come right back out, you get a hit. Uh, using the wheels, score with an error, and get another hit. And so, you know, Wayne Trace responding to what Lincoln View did in the bottom of the second. Your cleanup hitter now 
All she did last at bat was Homer. Was that, that's Paige Albert, but this time they're going to turn ah. the double play. Five to four to three. Nicely done by the Lancers to retire the side. The pitcher's best friend comes to fruition. And after two and a half, your score, Wade Trace three, Lincoln View one. You're watching high school softball on WOSN. Our scoreboard is presented by Charles River and Spencerville, the premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio is expanding. Learn more and apply today at jobs.criver.com. We go to the bottom of the three. It'll be two, three, four for the Lancers. Leading things off, number 14, your pitcher, Taylor Post. So it's an excellent opportunity for Post to look to help herself here, Mark. Struck out the last time. Goes to one and one with this count. Struck out swinging, you know. It was, in fact, it was the first time that uh, Taylor Post was behind in the count, 0 2, and uh, it's kind of protecting, I guess. Took a big swing. Breaking ball stays wide. Post biting, by batting 571 yeah. on the young season. I know, Dave, this is kind of your neck of the woods. Big winds came through here on Friday night. Here they lost the windscreen in the outfield. Um, the batting cage blew down. They had to put it back up, which they've been able to do. And fortunately, it's not a, a very bright day today anyway. So the, the windscreen for the, uh, the hitters is not of particular importance today. That's some excellent research on your part, Mark. I did not know that the windscreen had been up. I did notice it here that it wasn't up. I yep. just thought, well, maybe they're being smart, realizing, hey, Let's wait a little bit longer. Let spring settle in a little bit. But no, it blew down. Huh? I talked to Greg Leith, come out and did some work over the weekend and today and got the field ready to play. Hanging in there. Mr. Leith, one of the best around yes, sir. as far as athletic directors. You know, Dave, we run into a lot of good athletic directors in our job, and, and he's one of them. You know, we really appreciate all the work those guys do and the time they spend. Yep. Greg does an outstanding job. and. In a galaxy far, far away, a long time ago, he and I battled against each other as coaches on the hardwood at the JV level. Yeah, wait a minute, we had so many foul balls, we ran out of softballs here to play with. 2-2 yeah. two, two your count, Taylor Post having an outstanding at bat. Steve Trout just kicked one of the balls out, I think when it went foul, it landed on the asphalt runway over here and tore it up pretty good. So we're down to just a couple now. That is one thing I still really love about high school baseball and high school softball. Got him. As Post goes down swinging for the second time, you don't just throw the ball out if it's got a small <laughs> scuff on it like they do at the major league level. Keep playing with that thing. Shoot. Uh, I can tell you, Dave, as, an, as a very a very long time ago thrower but not pitcher. Here's our hitter. Thrower but not pitcher. If that ball got at least a little bit of scuff on it, you would throw the good ball away oops, and get that one ball back to me so you can put a little, get a better grip on it and you could do some, some serious damage with that thing sometimes. Addie Stevens, our yeah. batter, and I couldn't agree with you more. The more it was scuffed up, the more my curveball broke because I didn't have a fastball. So I needed as much break on that curveball as I could get. I, 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 you know, I guess you'd call it a fastball, but it just was a straight ball. Good nice play. Nice play there by Albert to throw out Stevens for the second out of the inning. Five to three in your scorebook. Two outs. Second time Stevens has made that, uh, had that play made against her by the third baseman, Paige Albert. So with two outs in the inning, that brings your first baseman to the plate, senior Braxton Sherry. Did you have walk-up music, Dave? Uh, no. No. Walk up music I had was after I got in my car and turned on my cassette player. And I was already sitting then. So no walk up music for this guy. Didn't know what that was. Nope, didn't know what that was. There's a drive. Hit very hard. Off the fence. Braxton Sherry going to look at three and goes back to second. Great piece of hitting, goes the other way, a double to the right field fence. So with two outs, Sherrick 
finds herself on second base. Laney Spear, your shortstop, your batter. That ball wasn't far from going out, Dave, up in the right center field area, hit on the fence. Made excellent contact, went with the pitch. It was on the outer third of the plate, didn't try to pull it. And when you go with the pitch on the outer third like that, you have that opportunity. She hit it hard. Foul ball there. Lady Spear walked in her first at bat. And scored. The that only she did. Run thus far for the Lancers. Coach Schwab would love to see a little change of places here, but Spear hits it back to the circle where Logan Bland takes care of the ground ball to retire the side. For Lincoln View in the bottom of the third. No runs on one hit. There were no errors and one runner left on base. After three complete, your score, Wayne Trace three, Lincoln View one. We'll be back after this on WOSN. High School in the top of the fourth inning. Logan Bland, your pitcher, batting for Ooh. Wayne Trace, hits it down to third. Great play by Sidney Fackler right there to retire Bland. Big first out of the inning as that ball was well hit, Mark. That really was. Went down and got the ball and then made the nice throw across the field. That's a web gem right there by Fackler. One out in the inning. And your center fielder, Katie Anna Bomley, your batter. She reached on an air her first at bat, made it all the way to third base, stranded there. Nice pitch by Post again. She has a nice tail on that, that fastball on the out, outer third. Tough to lay off. Bomley does a nice job of doing just that right there. There's a drive. And that's over Jackman's head. Bomley going to try and stretch it into a double. She does so. So with one out in the inning, the Raiders again have something cooking with a double over Jackman's head. And your batter, Allison Schilt. That's one of those, the ball's hit directly at you. So she actually took a half a step in before she realized it was going to go over her head. Those are so hard to judge when they're hit right at you. But she got it back in quickly to hold them to a double. Great point. We, we had a great view of that. Jackman thought she had it red, but it was hit harder because it was exactly right in her line of sight. And give a nice piece of hitting again to Bomley as she has a double to her name. Schilt grounded out to first base, or popped out to first base, her first at bat. Goes to the right side again. It's going to be a productive out as Bomley moves up on the play. Nice play defensively by Allie Miller. So two outs in the inning, and Allison Noggle has an opportunity to get an RBI here. Last time she had a, a sack bunt that got her an RBI. Can't do that this time with two outs. Allison Noggle, first year varsity player, one of the newcomers for this Raider squad. And again, as you said, a great job of executing the sacrifice bunt her first at bat. Gets a real good cut in right there on the first pitch and does so there as well. Nice play by the Lancers. Sydney Fackler gets her second assist of the inning to retire the side. In the top of the fourth for Wayne Trace. No runs on one hit. There were no errors and one runner left on base. We go to the bottom of the fourth for Lincoln View. It'll be Fackler, Miller, and Brickner. We'll come back with that after this on WOSN. 
Welcome back to Lincoln View High School. Did you know WOSN is a viewer-supported nonprofit ministry? Every spring, we launch a spring funding campaign. Would you make a donation? Our goal is $50,000. Donate online at WTLW.com forward slash donate. The Spring to Life funding campaign continues through Mother's Day. Your batter, the third baseman who had those two assists in the top of the inning, none other, none other than Sidney Backler. Takes that first pitch for a ball. And a strike there, one and one your count. You were talking with me earlier, Dave, about how great the workout facility is here at Lincoln View now. I've heard a lot of people comment on it. How much it has really helped their athletics, particularly spring and fall. Yeah, that's one of the observations from the other side of the county that we made. That they've done a really nice job with that facility. And not to say we aren't looking for something along those lines ourselves these days, but it takes some time and effort. Line drive single over the shortstop. Sydney Fackler gets things started off on the right foot if you're a Lancer fan here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Especially since it brings up Allie Miller, who doubled the last time. See if they can get something going here, trailing 3-1. Allie Miller, the sophomore second baseman. And we'll see what Coach Schwab does. Is he going to let her hit as she drove the ball, as you said, in her last at-bat? And it looks like that's the case. That's going to be a tough play. And that's a single out there in the triangle between second and short and center. Miller finds herself two for two here. How about Sydney Fackler's base running? You know, she could go all the way because if the center fielder, uh, uh, Anna Bonnelly, is able to make the play, then she's trapped off of first base. But she also, if that ball is picked up quickly and thrown to second base, she's a force out. So really good base running to get in a pro proper position to do that. Brings up your catcher, Grace Brickner, and she does square up and offers and takes that first pitch for a strike. See if Coach Schwab keeps the bun on here. Had the wheel play on with a shortstop covering third. Yeah, Paige Albert definitely in at third to cover the bunt. She squares up, fouls it off. That makes the count 0 and 2. Now it's interesting here with Coach Schwab. Will he keep the bun on with two strikes? Obviously, if she fouls it off, it's a strikeout. Sometimes you just let yeah. it ride and say, hey, we got to execute. She struck out her initial appearance today. That may have a play into a coach's mind a little bit. Let's see what Brickner does. Does not show bunt. Takes it outside. One and two, your count. Nice piece of hitting right there to get bat on that outside pitch takes it out of the hands of the umpires to whether to call that a bar or strike good cut fouls it off keeps the count at one and two that was a tweener pitch I yeah what it was yeah. I don't know what Mr. Trout would have called there there's a drive Look to out. left that's at the base of the fence that's going to score at least one run and the double by Grace Brickner to the left field fence, plates Sidney Fackler. Allie Miller moves up to third on the play. And with nobody out, the Lancers are in business with one run across. We're going to have a courtesy runner come in for Lincoln View. Number one, Emma Bowersod, the sophomore. So the bottom, yeah, number nine hitter here, Dave. Let's see what, what type of play they might want to put on this time. Yeah, I would look at Bunny and making the defense execute. Doesn't show anything mm -hmm. there. Runners on second and third, though. Nobody out can play for the big inning if you so desire. And as you said earlier, Bland has only pitched two innings this year. We're in the fourth. She does have good velocity, but I don't think it's where it was at the beginning of the contest, and that's to be understood at this point in the season with the few number of innings she's pitched. So a single, followed by a single, followed by a double. 
Emerson Walker battling in there. One and two's your count. Lance been able to get ahead in the count. But the Lincoln View hitters have stayed back and made solid contact here in the bottom of the fourth this inning. This would be a big out going to the top of the order. Got just a piece of that one. Yeah, just enough that the catcher, Katie Slack, unable to get that one to stay in her glove. We've seen movement on Bland's pitches. Haven't really seen a change up. She comes right down the middle right there. Going to be a tough play for Alber. And everybody's yeah. going to be safe and a run's going to score. I think if she could do it over again, Walker, or excuse me, Albert would not have thrown that ball and maybe done the fake throw and turn around to see where the runner was behind her, one Allie Miller, because Miller had snuck up the line behind her. But a run scores, give an RBI to Emerson Walker on the infield single, and that turns the lineup over. As you said, Michaela Jackman now to the plate. Still, runners on the corners, nobody out. A chance for the Lancers to put up a crooked number as they tie things up here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Walker advances on the pitch. Four consecutive hits to start the inning. Jacqueline drives one. That looks like that's going to find the ground, and it does. Two runs are going to score. Jacqueline showing the wheels. That's going to give her a triple all the way to third base. Two RBI triple for Jackman. And the Lancers go ahead five to three, putting up four runs here in the bottom of the fourth. Nobody out. And now your pitcher, Taylor Post, steps into the batter's box with a runner on third. Well, she got a hold of that one. Nice effort by the center fielder, Katie Anna Bomley, but she couldn't run it down. And good wheels to make a triple out of that. Yeah, Bomley had a lot of ground to cover. As you said, gave a great effort. But the ball falls. Give the triple to Jackman. There's one hit hard to right. Laura Thornell. Gets the catch, but that's going to be a sacrifice fly for Post. First out of the inning, but very productive at that. Give her the RBI as Jackman scores. Increasing the leader lead for the Lancers to 6-3. to three. One out in the inning now. Nobody on base. And if you're Wayne Trace, you want to just settle in now and keep the Lancers off the base pass, finish this inning out, and get in and get the bats going. That final sixth run right there came because of Michaela Jackson, Jackman's wheels. She legged out a triple, and then you were not going to throw her out with that one. Oh, a line drive That's hit. That's a shot right there from Addie Stevens off of Macy Doster's glove. Nothing she could do with that. No. That would have been a great play. That's a single. That was hit very, very hard. Andy Stevens says, I've grounded out uh, twice to the third baseman. I'm going somewhere else this time. And she made really good contact. That she did. And that brings up your cleanup hitter, Braxton Sherrick. She has popped out to short and had a double to right center field. She's locked in right now. The 250 hitter has increased her batting average in this game. One out in the inning. That swing right there, Dave, looked like she wanted to go to the right side again. One out, one on. Five runs have crossed the plate thus far in the bottom of the fourth for the Lancers. It's been an inning where the Lancers have made a lot of solid contact. <laughs> Logan Bland tries to go to second and get the lead now, runner, that's the right play. Ladies but going here. from underhand to overhand, she doesn't quite connect with Dosker, and that's going to be an error on the play. Everybody's safe with one out. Laney Spear, your shortstop, steps into the batter's box. Spear hits one up the middle. That's a single. That's going to play to run. 
So the Lancers are definitely putting up a crooked number here in the bottom of the fourth. Still with one out in the inning, six runs have crossed the plate. And Fackler is going to come to the plate the second time in this inning. And Coach Showwater is going to have a discussion with her squad. See if she makes, chooses to make a pitching change, Dave, or whether she just wants to go out and have some discussions about how they uh, kind of settle, settle things down a little bit. I mentioned that this is her fourth inning of work in a season when she's only had two total innings on the season. This will be a good time just to say, hey, look, you're our number one. Let's just calm down and let's get out of this, and we'll try to get some runs back in our half of the, of the, of the fifth inning coming up. And they definitely have the ability put, to put some runs on the board. This game is far from over. And Coach Showwater has had her discussion with the entire infield and just a checkup. Another good week of sports on WOSN. How about a big baseball game coming up Thursday night? That would be Wapak and Defiance in the Western Buckeye League opener. That will air on Friday evening. And then the Jim Ayersman track meet from Bath that will be run Thursday evening. That will air later on the weekend as well. As we get our spring sports geared up, Dave. Get her rolling in earnest, although there is some weather supposed to move yeah. in here, maybe on Tuesday or Wednesday, but hopefully that baseball game well. on Thursday, everything will be fine. There's a shot off the top of the glove. Macy Dosker unable to come down with it as it's well hit by Fackler. That's a single for Fackler, and that loads the bases up. About for, two hits in the inning for her. Yes, for Allie Miller your second baseman, who also singled last time at bat. And doubled her previous time, so she's got a two for two game going here. Break this thing wide open. But she pops that up, and it is the infield fly rule. It's called by both Mark Keller and Steve Trout. So the infield fly rule in effect, but PO5 for the second out. Brings up your catcher, Grace Brickner. A big at bat here mm. for both squads. Absolutely. Brickner can get a single and break this thing wide open, and, or the Raiders can get the out and get in here and get regroup and get the bats going. Fouls off that first pitch. Pitch there gets Brickner to chase that one to make it 0 and 2. Pitch was off the plate. Good pitch. Spoiled that one. Yeah, she's staying right outside. Getting uh, Brickner to chase is Logan Bland. No reason to come in. Just see if she can get her to go a little further out there and not make contact with the pitch and get the strikeout. But you got to be careful. You get to get out there too far. You might have a pass ball, wild pitch situation, and a run may score in that fashion. Brickner doubled in a run earlier this inning. And she's having another quality at bat. It's 0-2, but she keeps making contact. a ball right there. I think that's pretty good heads up base running that right. You could have gambled and tried to score, but you've got bases loaded and let's let's don't take a chance. Let's give our hitter a chance to do something with it. Don't take the bat out of her hands. The one two pitch. That's a drive up the middle. That's over Ooh. the head of Kadiana Bondley. And there's that big hit that the Lancers are going to score three runs on as Grace Brickner cleans the bases off with a double over the center fielder's head. That's the ninth hit in the inning. Now we're going to make a lineup change. We're going to take that. We're going to make that lineup change, and we're going to take a break. We'll be right back after this. You're watching High School Softball on WOSN. Welcome back to Lincoln View High School, and with that, 
Bases clearing, three RBI double. Wayne Trace makes the change. They bring in freshman pitcher number nine, Reagan McGarvey. She comes right in there with a strike against the number nine hitter for Lincoln View, Emerson Walker. In the win over Ottoville, she pitched three innings, gave up a hit, struck out three, and walked three. But that two doubles in the inning for Grace Brickner, driving in four runs in the inning, and Mr. Trout's going to have a meeting at the mound. I think he's picked something up maybe in her delivery. Going to talk to Mark Crosby, the assistant varsity coach for Wayne Trace. Hitter number 13 in the inning, is that correct, Dave? I'm trying to. Remember, I was an English yeah, teacher. Well, I'm a social I studies U boat commander, it so. Is. <laughs> it is batter number 13. Emerson Walker, one for two thus far in the game. Good pitch. Good, yeah, good pitch there by McGarvey. Took a little bit off of that one. So, one and two count. Walker fights that one off the inside, the inner third. She's been on base both times today, once by air, once with a hit. An RBI earlier in this inning. Ooh, really good pitch. Didn't offer up for it, but that was a good place to put the ball. Makes the count two and two, two outs. Pitcher, you don't want to go full count. And again. Walker just battling, making contact. Really couldn't do much with that pitch. But she just pushed it away to the side so she wouldn't be called up for a third strike. Looking to drive something right now is Emerson Walker. Got her to chase to retire the side. So McGarvey comes in and does exactly what her coach wants her to do, gets that third out of the inning. But in the bottom of the fourth, Lincoln View picks up nine runs. They had nine hits. Your score after four complete, Wayne Trace three, Lincoln View ten. It's high school softball on WOSN. Welcome back to Lincoln View High School. We go to the top of the fifth inning with your score 10 to 3. And for Lincoln View, or for Wayne Trace, it's 9-1-2. Laura Thornell leading things off. She's your right fielder. Grounded out to post in the circle, her first at bat. Takes swings at that first pitch. 0-1 oh your count. 0-2 oh now. And with two strikes. Thornell needs to battle. Coach Schulwater needs to get runners on any way she can right now. Try and battle back from this seven-run deficit. And Post works her outside on the third pitch to get the swinging strikeout. That is Post's first strikeout of the game. Their yeah, defense has played very well behind her today. Just a couple of errors. That turns the lineup over. Your leadoff hitter. First team GMC selection, shortstop Macy Doster. With the seven run lead, Post doesn't need to be too mm -hmm. fine, but she still wants to work to the corners, paint the black, make herself better every pitch. But again, don't want to give away free passes, give Wayne Trace anything that they don't earn in the batter's box. Doster, one for two on today. Fly ball to center field, had a single. Scored a run back in inning number three. Not that foul ball, Doster makes the count two, to one, two and one, two balls, one strike. Right to me. Yes. Well, hit on. Oh. Bounced 
bounced back in, but right on top of the press box. We had the window shut. I'm trying to save you. Um, I, Howard, would have reached out and grabbed that one had they had the opportunity, but well, the windows are shut here today. I know you would have protected me. Evens the count two and two with one out. You know, I like to touch the ball in basketball when we're doing games. <laughs> I, I don't want to touch a baseball or a softball. You know, yeah. I believe in the regional, you did get a couple I did. touches. I yeah, did. In the regional tournament. 2-2 two, two your count, one out in the inning. Nice at-bat for Doster. Doesn't chase that outside pitch that Taylor Post likes to paint out there. Reaches on the base on balls. That brings your your second baseman, Ava Zartman, to the plate. First walk. Just kind of glancing through my score sheet today. First walk. First walk for That's Taylor what I Post. Mm -hmm. Got our first strikeout. The first batter here on the top of the fifth. And then Doster works her for the base on balls. Well, I suppose we would be remiss, Dave, if we didn't wish happy birthday to WSN guy, Miles Holiday. Miles Holiday. Turning, uh, should we say, 39 for the 11th time. There you go. He's going to say he's younger than both of us. Well, everybody is. <laughs> <laughs> Got him picked off, and whoa. Nice play by yes. Doster. Draws the throw from the catcher, Grace Brickner, and just heads to second. So give her the stolen base. Good heads up, base running. I mean, if you're a Lancer, it's a little bit meaningless. I mean, obviously you'd like to not let, just give up runs, but. Uh, There's a ground ball to the third baseman, nicely done by none other than Sydney Fackler. As she throws out Zartman, five to three, two outs in the inning. Yeah, I think that'll be a coaching point right there mm -hmm. uh, with Grace Brickner. If we throw it down there, we got to really feel like she's going to come back to the bag. If not, just get the ball back to post. Again, you have the rules in softball where once the ball's in the circle, if you've committed, you got to keep going. If not, you got to get back. And in that situation, that, that probably would have kept Doster at first base. But she finds herself on third now after that last ground ball with Katie Slade, your catcher, in the batter's box with a 1-0 count. She hits that one up in the air, moving over to field it and take care of it in foul territory is Braxton Sherrick for the third out of the inning. For the Raiders in the top of the fifth, no runs on no hits. There were no errors and one runner left on base. After four and a half, Wayne Trace three, Lincoln View 10. You're watching softball high school style on WOSM. We go to the bottom of the fifth inning here at Lincoln View High School, and it's going to be the top of the lineup for the Lancers. Jackman, Post, and Stevens, first three batters. Jackman with the triple in her last at-bat, that big bottom of the fourth inning for Lincoln View. Starts things off taking the pitch. 1-0, your count. Close the book on... Logan Bland, three and two-thirds innings. Gave up all 10 runs, 12 hits. Walked one, struck out four. Really solid through three, but yeah. Lincoln View timed her down in the bottom of the fourth, and she just could not find her way out of that inning. McGarvey came in and shut the door, but there's a drive to left field. Mm. Nice catch by your left fielder, Allison Schilt. Jackman drives the ball, goes up each, if you will, but unable to find grass first out of the inning. That ball was slicing away from the left fielder, Allison Schilt, and she was able to make the play on it. And she has her, she had her played perfectly mm -hmm. closer to the foul line than in the middle of left field, and that brings Taylor Post to the plate, and she takes a strike on the first pitch. Swinging strike, 0-2. Both programs, a lot of tradition, a lot of pride. Mm -hmm. Lincoln View, again, making it to the state championship game last year for the first time. Four Northwest Conference championships to their credit. 
That's a fair Ooh. ball as Post goes <laughs> down the right field line. That's going to be at least a double. She's going to stretch it to three. No, going to stay at second with the stand-up double. Taylor Post picks up her first hit of the game. And with one out, that'll bring Addie Stevens. Pretty to good the effort by Mark Keller not to get hit with the ball. <laughs> Good wheels for him to stay out of the way. That ball just sliced down the line. We had to wait to see if it stayed fair or not. Oh, nice play. McGarvey fields her position. As you said, a nice play to get Stevens out. One to three, a big second out as Post moves up on the play. That brings Brooke Sherry to the play. See a real good hand reaction, Dave. That ball was has hit hard. Get her glove up and make a play on it. Pitch by McGarvey, as we said. Lincoln View with the state runner up last year for NWC championships. Wayne Trace, no stranger to GMC championships. They have nine under their belt. Here counts 0 2, two outs. Again, McGarvey doesn't want to give anything. Too easy to hit here. Paint the corners, maybe even throw a ball. Nicely done. Goes outside. Set the hitter up a little bit. Now she could come inside, maybe up and in. Try and make her fight one off the handle. A little dribbler, but one and two is your count. Stays outside. Mm. Tough pitch to take. Yeah, good pitch, but outside. Good plate discipline there by Sherry. Two and two your count. Runner on third. Pop-up double on by air today. There's the up and in. Mm -hmm. Sherry fights that one off. Yep. One hit on the day. Mm -hmm. Another good pitch. Yeah, changed her speed yep. right there. Did a nice job. Doesn't get the call. Makes the count full with two outs. How about the discipline by Braxton Sherrick, though? Two pitches that woulda, coulda, shoulda, and that's a fair ball. Yep. She's going to get rewarded for that plate discipline and picks up a RBI double as Lincoln View plays an add-on here in the bottom of the fifth Lace inning. Here. Two balls that were, you know, Dave, a couple of feet away from being foul balls instead of being doubles and get a run in. I couldn't throw it down there as close to the line as those two hitters did. You're right, tough luck for McGarvey as Post I, I, and Sherrick both go down the right field line. I'm very impressed by Sherrick's at bat. She took two pitches that were balls but were very close, had discipline enough not to swing, and then just ticked that one down the right field line. Congratulations to her. Laney Spear, your batter. One for two thus far in the game with a walk. Fights that one off the handles. I had the privilege of uh, calling a couple of Lincoln View basketball games this year. Would you like to have Stoller and Lockoff coming back next year? Lincoln View or Wayne Trace? Uh, Wayne Trace. Because I know Brett uh, Hamm. I'm sorry. Yeah. Stoller yeah, I'm sorry. I got, yeah, I was thinking I'm looking at those gold jerseys. But, yeah, if yeah. I'm Wayne Trace, would I like to have Stoller and Lockoff back well, next year? interesting you bring that up. I had a chance to talk to Wayne Trace head coach Jimmy Linder today mm. as this game was evolving and happening. I gave him a buzz. There's a drive. Oh, boy. That one's deep and – it is not playable. Wow. Laney Spear, the freshman, home run to right center field. And as a result, she touches home plate, and that is going to be the game, I believe, is it not? The 10-run yep, rule. Yeah, 10-run rule. Congratulations to the Lancers. We'll come right back and button this one up. You're watching exciting high school softball, Lincoln View Wayne Trace style on WOSN. Welcome back to Lincoln View High School, where tonight in high school softball action, in a game shortened because of the run rule, Lincoln View wins. 13 to three to improve to one and two on the season. The Raiders drop to one and one. 
The hitting statistics, Lincoln View had 13, or the offensive statistics, Lincoln View had 13 hits, or 13 runs on 15 hits. They left five runners on base and committed two errors. Wayne Trace, three runs on six hits, and they left three runners on base and committed two errors. Mark, it was a real tight game, but then yeah. – Lincoln View had a big fourth inning and then finished things off in the fifth. Just just blew it open in the last couple of innings there. We saw a little bit of fatigue from the pitcher, and you could see what happened with that. We're going to have to wrap this up quickly in our Charles River scoreboard and get us out of here very quickly. Taylor Post, the winning pitcher, five innings, three runs, six hits. She walked one, struck out one. She's the winning pitcher today, and Lancers go to one and two on the season. We want to thank our crew, Lexi, Abby, and Jacob. And again, for Mark Shine. May all of your singles be nothing but line drives over the shortstop's heads. Thank, heads, thank, for, thank you for watching on WOSN.